ভিউয়ার্স ওয়েলকাম টু আওয়ার শো ইংলিশ ফর ইউ আনন্দে আনন্দে ইংরেজি শিক্ষার অনুষ্ঠান হচ্ছে ইংলিশ ফর ইউ আর টিভি এবং ভয়েস অফ আমেরিকার যৌথ উদ্যোগে এই আয়োজনে বরাবরের মতোই আপনাদের সাথে আছি আমি মাসুক সিদ্দিক মূলত বাংলাদেশের স্কুল পর্যায়ের শিক্ষার্থীদের মাঝে আমেরিকান ইংলিশের চর্চা এবং ব্যবহার বাড়ানোই হচ্ছে আমাদের মূল উদ্দেশ্য এছাড়াও কুইজের মাধ্যমে মেধাবীদের মেধা ঝালায় সুযোগ তো থাকছেই ইংলিশ ফর ইউ অনুষ্ঠানে প্রিয় দর্শক আজকে আমরা চলে এসেছি ঢাকার মোহাম্মদপুরের লালমাটিয়ায় অবস্থিত লালমাটিয়া গার্লস স্কুল অ্যান্ড কলেজে যেখানে এই স্কুলের এক ঝাঁক শিক্ষার্থী অপেক্ষা করছে ক্লাসরুমে এবং ক্লাসরুমে আরও অপেক্ষা করছে আমেরিকান নাগরিক এবং আমেরিকান ইংরেজি ভাষার বিশেষজ্ঞ জরি মেল্টো যাকে আমরা মিস অ্যানা নামেই চিনি প্রিয় দর্শক আমরা চলে যাব ক্লাসরুমে কিন্তু তার আগে আমরা জেনে নেব এই ক্যাম্পাস সম্পর্কে বিস্তারিত এই ক্যাম্পাসের প্রধান শিক্ষকের মুখ থেকে লেটস টেক আলু লালমাটিয়া গার্লস হাই স্কুল অ্যান্ড কলেজ প্রতিষ্ঠানটি উনিশশো সনে প্রতিষ্ঠা হয় লালমাটিয়া এবং ন্যাশনাল গৃহায়ন কর্তৃপক্ষের উদ্যোগে এই প্রতিষ্ঠানটা প্রতিষ্ঠিত হয় আমাদের দুই একর জায়গা নিয়ে এই প্রতিষ্ঠানটা প্রতিষ্ঠিত আমাদের প্রতিষ্ঠানে একাডেমিক চারটি ভবন রয়েছে এর মধ্যে প্রত্যেকটি ভবনে চারতলা বিশিষ্ট এখানে আমাদের ষাটটা শ্রেণীকক্ষ রয়েছে বাচ্চাদের জন্য আধুনিক শৌচাগার রয়েছে তিরিশটি যেটা আসলে আমরা চেষ্টা করি সব সময় খুব পরিষ্কার পরিচ্ছন্ন রাখার জন্য মেয়েদের প্রতিষ্ঠানে এছাড়া আমাদের ক্যান্টিন রয়েছে এবং থার্টি মিনিটস শপ রয়েছে যেটা শিক্ষক শিক্ষার্থী এবং অভিভাবকরা হোম খাবার এনে এখানে আমাদের টিফিন পিরিয়ডে তারা বাচ্চাদের জন্য অ্যারেঞ্জ করে থাকেন এছাড়া বিদ্যালয়ে আমাদের দুটি খেলার মাঠ রয়েছে একটি বাচ্চাদের ইনডোর খেলার জন্য আমরা ব্যবহার করে থাকি আর একটা হচ্ছে আউটডোর খেলার জন্য এই প্রতিষ্ঠানটিতে স্কুল এবং কলেজ শেখা মিলিয়ে মোট পঞ্চান্ন জন শিক্ষক কর্মরত রয়েছে মোট শিক্ষার্থী আমাদের এখানে এক হাজার চারশো আগামী বছর আমরা আরও দুশো শিক্ষার্থী এখানে অ্যাড করব ইংলিশ ভার্সানের তো আমরা আসলে আমাদের শিক্ষার্থীদেরকে পড়ালেখার পাশাপাশি অন্যান্য কার্যক্রমগুলোর সাথে বিশেষ করে সামাজিক কার্যক্রমের সাথে ইনভলভ করছি এবং বিশেষ করে তারা গার্লস গাইড আমাদের হচ্ছে রেড ক্রিসেন্টের সাথে এবং অন্যান্য সামাজিক কার্যক্রমে তারা অংশগ্রহণ করে থাকে এছাড়া আমাদের বিদ্যালয়ে অভ্যন্তরে সায়েন্স ক্লাব রয়েছে ইংলিশ ক্লাব রয়েছে বেঙ্গলি ক্লাব রয়েছে তো আমি আশা করি যে আপনাদের এই অনুষ্ঠানটা আমাদের বাচ্চাদের ইংরেজি শেখার ক্ষেত্রে নতুন কারিকুলামে আমাদের যে বিষয়টা বাস্তবভিত্তিক জ্ঞানের যে বিষয়টা নিয়ে আসছে ইংলিশ ফর ইউ এই প্রোগ্রামটা আপনাদের আমাদের এই কারিকুলামের সহায়ক হিসাবে আমি মনে করি এবং বাচ্চারা ভবিষ্যতে যদি এটাতে অংশগ্রহণ করে এই অনুষ্ঠানের মাধ্যমে আমি আশা করব যে তারা পাঠ্যপুস্তকের পাশাপাশি আরও দক্ষ হয়ে উঠবে তা আমরা বাংলা ভাষার পাশাপাশি আমেরিকান ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ ব্রিটিশ ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ এবং অন্যান্য ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজে অভ্যস্ত হচ্ছি তা আমি এই জন্য বয়েস অফ আমেরিকা এবং আর টিভিকে ধন্যবাদ জানাচ্ছি এই ধরনের প্রোগ্রাম অ্যারেঞ্জ করার জন্য সত্যি অনেক তথ্যমূলক কথাবার্তা বলেছেন আমাদের শ্রদ্ধেয় প্রধান শিক্ষক প্রধান শিক্ষকের মুখ থেকে কথাবার্তাগুলো শোনার পরে আমরা চলে এসেছি ক্লাসরুমে আগে বলেছিলাম যে ক্লাসরুমে অপেক্ষা করছে এক ঝাঁক শিক্ষার্থী স্টুডেন্টস হাউ আর ইউ অল দ্যাটস ভেরি কুল আমরা আজকে আমাদের সাথে উপস্থিত রয়েছে মিস অ্যানা যাকে তোমরা ইতিমধ্যেই ভিডিওতে দেখেছে এবং আজকে সে আমাদের সামনে তো তাকে কিছু বলবে ফার্স্ট অফ অল Thank you for inviting me to your lovely school. Thank you to RTV for uh, making this happen. Thank you, Mr. Joy. Teacher Thank you Joy. very much. You have the best name ever. <laughs> so I'm very happy to be here. My name is Jodiana. You can call me Anna. And I make multimedia materials to teach English. Multimedia means text, audio, video, pictures. All of it. That is my philosophy, and I want to share it with you today. And I'm very eager to hear your ideas and hear us uh, and get to know you as well. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Students, you are the most important thing to do with Ramjan Ali, sir. Now I'm going to go to Ramjan Ali, sir. Sir, would you like to say something about English for you? Okay. You know, uh, this is Muhammad Ramajan Ali, you know my name, okay. Uh, so, I'm your language teacher and uh, today uh, we'll talk about English language. And basically, we have got some basic idea about the differences between the American and the British English here. 
So the focus is only to learn the language, especially English language. And uh, this organizations, I'm talking about the Voice of America and uh, uh, RTV, I thank them because of arranging that type of programs today. And uh, I'm very grateful to these two institutions uh, for inviting me as a mentor, as a teacher here. Thank you. And thank you so much for your opinion. Tomra Shobai, Voice of America A to Z Wordbook Boiti Pecho. Miss Anna, would you like to show your first video? I would love to. In these videos today, I share with you two of my friends. So that also makes me very, very happy. When you watch the video though, I want you to notice the grammar. Yeah, you can notice the grammar, but that's not the important part. I want you to notice the relationships between the characters and the language they use with each other and how they're different. So pay attention to that. And we will start with one of my favorite videos. Today we will experience some snow for you. <laughs> okay, let's watch the video all together. Hi, Anna. Why do you have all this weather stuff? I love weather. Me too. Weather is so important. It is. It affects people's lives. Have you ever reported on a big weather event? I have. I've reported on a blizzard. Do you mean the one last weekend? Yes. I had been waiting for that blizzard for years. When it came, I was ready. Welcome to our most perfect lesson. Why is it perfect? Today we are reviewing the present perfect and past perfect verb tenses. These show that an action is completed. Kelly uses the present perfect when she says, Have you ever reported on a big weather event? Anna uses the past perfect when she says, I had been waiting for that blizzard for years. Listen for have or had and the past participle to find more sentences with the perfect tense. I'll color those words to help you. Kelly, I have wanted to report on a big weather event my whole life. Who hasn't? Did you report all weekend by yourself? <laughs> no, 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 no. I volunteered Pete to help me. Why am I here on a Saturday? Why are you carrying things? Why? Why? Pete, these are my supplies. Food, a blanket, warm clothing. Where are your supplies? Pete. <laughs> Pete, Pete, Pete. This could be the blizzard of the century. <sighs> It'll be fine. How else have you prepared? Well, I had just bought the latest weather forecasting software, so I brought it. Do you mean the Weather Genie Pro? You know it. Pete thought it was pretty great too. Do you have any games on that thing? Yes, I have the best weather survival game. Boom. Sounds fun. It is, but right now, Pete, this computer is a work tool. It will give us the temperature, wind speed, wind direction, and amount of snowfall in real time. Boom, boom. I can't wait. Pete, we need a name for this blizzard. No, we don't. All the great storms have names. No, they don't. I know. The big snow. I am not saying the big snow. Welcome to the big snow. The big snow broke all kinds of records, didn't it? Yes, it did. And every time a record was broken, we celebrated. So far in Washington, D.C., 29 inches of snow has fallen. That, my dear listeners, is a record. 
We just broke the wind speed record. Snow has been falling for 30 hours straight. That's another record. By Saturday night, stores and restaurants had closed. Did you bring enough food? I thought I had brought enough food, but I ran out. Hey, Pete, where's my bag of popcorn? Maybe you ate it already? No, I didn't. I haven't seen it. <laughs> we had reported together for 48 hours straight. Wow, that must have been a great team building exercise for you and Pete. Yeah, you, you could say that. I hope you found all the sentences with perfect tenses. Learn more on our website. Students, have you understood the video? Yes. Properly? Yes. Okay, since its creator is here, so I would like to request Miss Anna, please explore. Absolutely. I want to ask you a question about the video. Why was it funny? What created the funny situation in the relationships? Who would like to try and answer that? Uh, you and Kelly were friends, but you and Pete were work partners. And you... We were work partners, exactly. And there's a very important topic that we are going to talk about next that was in this video, shared interest to have something in common, right? What did Kelly and I have in common? Uh, your love for weather, you and Kelly both share the uh, same love for weather. Exactly. Did we know that about each other? No, not at first, but after you talked, then she knew. Exactly. And what did she see around me? that made her ask. Oh, the weather staffs. The book and yeah. the weather toys. And yeah. so she knew. But she had to find out, right? Yeah. And that's what we do with our friends. We find out what do we have in common? What do we have different? And that's what this video explores too. Now what about Pete? Pete and you don't share the same interests. We don't. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's <laughs> Thank you, perfect answer. And I want to tell you something about my script writing process. I look for those differences so that there is, what does every story need? You need connection between the characters, absolutely. But you also need conflict. You have to have conflict or there's no story. There's no jokes. If Pete loved weather, pretend you're Pete. If you love weather and I love weather, hi Pete, I love weather. Do you love weather too? No, 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 I don't like. No, you have to love weather. No, say, <laughs> say, say yeah, I love okay, weather. I love weather. Oh, oh, great. Let's love weather together. <laughs> but there's, there's no story. It falls flat. It's boring, exactly. So when you are writing stories in English, think about that little trick. That is my gift to you make a problem, make a conflict. And also, it helps with your comprehension too. If you understand the relationship of the people in a story, you can understand the English much better. So it helps you as a reader and it helps you as a writer too. Maybe about their family or about their futures or about their hopes and dreams. Think about something then I want you to, in your small group, so we have three, 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 talk about it. And we don't have much time to do this, so talk about it, ask a question, and find out something about your classmate. You can also use the grammar that we heard in the video. Have you ever reported on a blizzard? <laughs> have you ever swam in the ocean? <laughs> okay, now, Let's hear some of our classmates and what they learned about their fellow classmates. Who would like to go first? Yeah? What did you learn about your classmates? Um, I asked her if she went abroad um, before or not, and she said she went to New Delhi, and she said she did not. 
Oh, okay. You went to New Delhi? How was that? It was a really great trip and we saw a lot of things about New Delhi and it was really fun. I mean, we got to see, a, saw a lot of things. And yeah, it was, it was oh, okay. great. Thank you very much. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> Who would like to go next and share something they learned? Yeah. As an artist, I asked her that if she loves to uh, draw. She said that she doesn't hate it, but she doesn't like it either. She loves crafting. Oh my gosh, you like to craft? Yes. She like to make? I'm not sure, but I have, she has a YouTube channel and I have seen she, her crafts are very beautiful. Oh my gosh, we just found out our classmate has her own YouTube channel. That, that's awesome, good for you. <laughs> Students, how do you feel Miss Anna's class? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next video. Winter weather in Washington, D.C. can be really windy. And wind messes up my hair. It is really windy today. Look at my hair. Will it be windy this weekend? I'll listen to the news. I am tired of my untidy hair. Are you tired of your untidy hair? Yes, yes I am. And it's uncomfortable. Is it uncomfortable? Yes, yes it is. Hey, is that Pete? Hi. I'm Pete, and I have the perfect product for you. Hair Be Good. Just spray Hair Be Good on your hair. Wrap in a towel, and you are done. Hair Be Good works, and it's inexpensive. One can costs only $10. So go online and order your Hair Be Good today. Are you tired of your untidy hair? Yes, I am. And it's uncomfortable. Hair Be Good sounds perfect. And I can trust Pete. I am buying some right now. Okay, I will order one can of Hair Be Good for $10. I'll pay with a credit card. My delivery will arrive in two days. Awesome! It arrived! I'll use it before I go to work. Okay, hair be good. Make my untidy hair tidy. No, make it fabulous. Hi, Anna. Hello, Amelia. Anna, you look different. Thanks. I used a new product called Hair Be Good. Well, it's not. It's not what? Good. Your hair does not look good. <gasps> oh, no! This is not good. Why don't you go home and take care of this? Good idea. Hi, Anna. Hello, Pete. Is something wrong? This is wrong! What did you do to your hair? Hair Be Good did this to my hair. Oh, you bought it! Yes, I bought it. You said in your ad it was a perfect product. This is not perfect. This is imperfect. It's unbelievable. I believed your ad, Pete. It was dishonest. This is not perfect. This is Imperfect. It's unbelievable. Anna, you don't believe everything you see in ads, do you? No, Pete. Just the ones with my friends. Your hair will be okay. Just wash it a couple of times. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Pete. Here, here's your product. You should call it Hair Be Really, Really Bad. Until next time, Pete. Till next time.
And what do you think it is about? We heard the grammar, we saw the topic. Who would like to tell us what they think the video is about? I guess it was about suffix and prefixes. So if I say to you, believable, what's the negative? Unbelievable. Correct. Perfect. Imperfect. Right. Interested. Uninterested. Thank you very much. <laughs> If we want to try a dialogue between a salesperson trying to sell a product and someone buying it, do we have time to do that? Okay. Okay, I have a product. The RTV elephant. <laughs> this elephant has some magic ability. You have to think of a magic ability. Maybe it can help you fly or it can give you lots of money. I don't know. But one of you will be the salesperson trying to sell this magic elephant. And one of you will be the buyer, maybe asking questions. Does it really work? Is it really? So who would like to try this dialogue? Yeah, sure. You can even, if you want to come here, can they come here? Hey, I want to buy your product. Tell me something about it. As you can see, this product looks very beautiful. It has some very magical abilities, like you can, if you hold it in your hand and uh, say something to it, it will let you go on. If you tell a place, it will make you uh, travel to that place. It will help me to transport. Yes, it will help you to transport. Uh, what else can it do? It can uh, work as, a, as your translator. If you, uh, wherever you go, no matter what their language is, you will get to know everything about them and you will understand everything about them. Okay, that's a great product. Oh, so good job. Very good job. Yeah. Thank you, Miss Anna. Sir, would you like to add something with Anna? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, today, we have learned some grammatical items. Now, even we have learned some uh, suffixes and prefixes. And uh, the prefixes can change the meaning of the words. And uh, today, we have learned uh, believable, unbelievable, right? Because sometimes it's mixed into negative ones. Uh, we have learned the past perfect tense and present perfect tense. And I think you have got the differences between the two the past perfect and the present perfect. If she had got a lot of money, she would have traveled around the world. So this is the example of third conditional. That's all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Students, come on like check class. I'm going to tell you that I'm going to tell you that I'm going to tell you that I'm going to tell you dialogue part. Sir, I'm going to tell you that I'm going to tell you that I'm going to tell who are interested to uh, make dialogues? Raise your hands. Sir, on a key to interested. And each and everybody uh, can do the dialogues, make the dialogues. Okay. So, Samia, and you can do. Okay, stand up, make the dialogues. Hey, Samia, are you free? Hi, Tasnuba. Yes, I am free. Oh, I have something to tell you. Yesterday, me and my friends were talking about our future plans, and we shared some ideas. So, I got really curious about your future plans because you're going to college next year. Oh, that's a great idea to talk about. Actually, I was thinking about it lately and uh, I want to know about your future plan too. As a science student, I want to do something related to physics, chemistry or biology, but I'm liking biology a lot recently, so I want to be a doctor. That's a great profession. Have you decided which college you want to go to? After doing some researches, I have found out that Bangladesh is now in a very good position for its medical studies. So I want to complete my MBBS degree in Bangladesh in Dhaka Medical College. So what are your preparations for fulfilling your dream? I believe that if anyone wants to fulfill their dream, they have to work hard from start. So now I am focusing on my SSC exam. I want to go to a very good college after my SSC exam and I also love to uh, some do some volunteering work so I'm also doing that and I'm also doing some extracurriculum activities too. Oh my god thank you so much for your appreciation and I would love to see us full of thing on team someday. Thank you too. Sir who's on next? The next one is from there. Rubayat, stand up. Hey Charu what's up? I'm fine how are you with you? I'm good too. What did you bring for Tiffin today? I got fried chicken you want some? Yeah, sure. I haven't eaten fried chicken in like ages. My mom stopped buying them. Why? 
It's because of the high price rate of broiler chicken. Oh yeah, my mom was hot-headed about it too. In animal meat producing farms, animals are kept in a very small confined space which is not well ventilated and the feed they get fed are, not, are mixed with some harmful substances like mercury, chromium 6+, lead and etc. Well, that's true. Honestly, the only thing we have to think about is the sources. If we know the sources right, then any diet would be good for us. Honestly, vegetarians also survive, don't they? We, all of the diets, uh, no matter whichever diet we follow, they have both pros and cons. So we have to know about them before we follow them. Anyway, we gotta go. Our maths class gonna start. Then see you after class. Yeah, see you too. Bye. Sir, which pair upcoming now? Okay, the third pair, yes. You? Hey Mahi, what's up? I'm pretty well, what about you? I'm doing great, what are you thinking about? Actually, I'm thinking about employment opportunities in our country. Oh, would you like to share your thoughts with me? Sure, look, employment provides the key link between economic growth and poverty, making it the major tool for poverty reduction in our country. Yes, the country's poverty reduction strategy would be sustainable if it is consistent with a well-articulated employment strategy you are right. For this, along with economic growth driven by sectors that are labor-intensive in nature and have greater potential of job creation. But due to pandemic, there are many people who were working in informal sectors have lost their jobs. Yes, even education of every level in our country came to a halt because of pandemic. Also, many final year university students who either got graduated right before the lockdown or got their graduation postponed. Yes, but we also need help from government and non-government organizations. That's a great idea and I'm so happy that our thoughts are so similar. So now I may take my leave. Sure, see you later. Thank you. Sir, which we are coming now? Okay, the last one is over there. Hi Orban, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm so fine. And what are you thinking about the future? I'll want to be a doctor. And you? I'll try to be a teacher. And why do you want to be a doctor? It's a noble profession. I'll have an earnest desire to build up a hospital in my village. Okay, that's great. And I will teach the students to serve my country. Okay, that's fine. I'll pray for your success. I hope that you will reach your goal. Thanks. Uh, okay, bye. Okay, bye. Best of luck. Thank you. Finally, which pair coming, sir? This pair. Hello, Minha. How are you? I'm fine, Nupu. How about you? I'm also fine. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm just looking through the notes given by our new teacher. He's a great teacher. Yes, right ear. His method of teaching is really very wonderful. Yeah, it's true. But do you know about his educational career? No, I don't. However, I think a brilliant result isn't a sign of a good teacher. Yeah, it's true. But I guess he got first classes in both masters and honors. Oh, I see. He might be a great teacher. Yes, we are. Thank you, Nipo, for your quality time. See you again soon. You are most welcome, dear. Bye. Bye. আজকের সারা দিনের ক্লাসে তোমরা কি বুঝলে যে কিছু শিখতে পেরেছো মিস আনার কাছ থেকে এবং তোমরা এগুলো প্র্যাকটিস করবে মিস আনা ফাইনালি উড ইউ লাইক টু সে সামথিং অ্যাবাউট টুডেজ হোল প্রোগ্রাম ও আই উইশ আই কুড হিয়ার ফ্রম ইচ এন্ড এভরি ওয়ান অফ ইউ মোর বিকজ স্পেন্ডিং টাইম উইথ ইউ ইজ জাস্ট ডিলাইটফুল আই এম ভেরি থ্যাঙ্কফুল to be here so thank you teacher for sharing your class with me just thank you very much yeah i'm just i will think about this for a long time i will not forget you so please keep up the good work that's my <laughs> thank you very much thank you so much sir ajke ayojoner ekdomi shesh porjaye chole eshechi ei shesh shomoy apnar kache shunte chai je puro ayojon ti somporke apnar motamot i highly appreciate this program especially this is very important for the learners because they do not know how to use the basic differences between the american and the british english because they think there is a mistake of that particular english like uh, american english or british english but they if they have got idea they would be able to understand the things what is happening what the things is right or wrong you know the differences between the American and the British English, 
you have the differences in tenses, in grammar, in pronunciation, in uh, vocabulary, even you have the differences in writing also. So uh, from these videos, Anna is with me. And thanks, Anna, and thanks, Voice of America RTV, uh, for arranging that type of program. Thank you very much. Thank you. প্রিয় দর্শক আশা করছি আমাদের এই আয়োজন আপনাদের ভালো লেগেছে আপনাদের ভালো লাগাই হবে আমাদের সার্থকতা আগামীতে দেখা হবে অন্য কোনো স্কুলে আরও এক ঝাঁক শিক্ষার্থীর সাথে সে পর্যন্ত সবাই ভালো থাকবেন বিদায় নিচ্ছি আজকের মতো আমি মাসুক সিদ্দিক আল্লাহ হাফেজ